afternoon you are watching Woman of Verta TV Omaha, I have a word of God for you. Call your neighbors and call your friend. Tell them it is the hour for Woman of Verta. Today my topic is, here I am, send me. Here I am, send me. I'm coming to you from Jeremiah chapter 1, from the 5th to the 10th verse. Jeremiah chapter 1, from the 5th to the 10th verse. And I know you may want to read the entire um, chapter of Jeremiah, so get a pen and a piece of paper. Just get yourself real comfortable. Put your feet up, relax, get a cup of water or some tea or coffee, whatever makes you comfortable, and let's go with me down Jesus' lane. So Jeremiah chapter 1 from the 5th verse and to the 10th verse, and I'm reading from the King James Version, and it read, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Then said I, Ah, oh Lord, God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child. For thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, said the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. Tenth verse, see, I have this day set thee over the nation and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build, to build and to plant. Father, in the name of Jesus, I honor you, glorify you, and I lift you up this afternoon. Your word is already blessed, Lord, but write it on the tablets of the heart of men, women, boy, and girl. This morning, God, let me be removed and your Holy Spirit speak right now. When this word is finished, let someone call to ask, what shall they do to be saved? Give me the word to give to them in Jesus' name. Amen. So we are talking about Jeremiah this afternoon, and we know the prophet, we call him Jeremiah the prophet, the weeping prophet, because he cried for the children of Israel. And, and so he prayed for them, he cried for them, he moaned for them, he did just about everything. But what we want to talk about is the important part of it, is where God told Jeremiah that he knew Jeremiah since Jeremiah was in the home of the mom. He sanctified Jeremiah before he came out of the womb of his mom. We remember Elizabeth who bring John the Baptist and remember Mary who bring Jesus Christ. So we often know what we are talking about when we talk about the womb of a woman, the fruit of the womb. We know that the Catholic Church, they studied, um, blessed is the womb of thy fruit, the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, when we talk about Mary. But we are talking about another person right now who came from the womb. We know that we have Anna, hallelujah, who came to the temple and also bring forth. We are talking about bringing forth this evening, hallelujah. We are talking about, here I am, Lord, sent me, hallelujah. And so when Jeremiah was to be born, when Bishop Redeem was to be born, and when most of you, my comrades or my listeners or my watchers, hallelujah, is supposed to be born. Somebody say, hallelujah, that God said unto him, I knew you before you was a person. I knew you when you was a seed. I knew you when you were transported from being a seed to a child. I know you before you were knowing the hurt where the breeze blow and before you knew who your mama was, before you met the doctor and the nurses. I knew you. 
He said, and I also sanctify you often times. I know that for myself because I have told you guys a long time ago that, hallelujah, when I was a young girl, I'm now 52, but when I was eight years old, I was different from my sisters and, and I was different from my mother and father. I was different from, hallelujah, everyone in my family. And, and somebody think a, a different way about me and they would talk that I look different, I behave different different I act different uh, because when the normal kid hallelujah would want a doll baby or a normal kid wants to go to the country to spend time uh, hallelujah here I am I want to stay here because there's a church uh, that I love to go to praise the Lord and I like to go on journeys and I like to go on fasting so I was kind of different Yes, I can tell you, I remember one time I was praying and I did not know, hallelujah, that the whole church stopped praying and I was the longest one praying. I did not realize that, but I remember when I finished praying, I told you guys that the pastor hold my hands and went on down to my house and says to my dad and my mom, do not provoke this child. Hallelujah, this is a special child. Back then I did not understand uh, what it meant and I followed the pastors all the time and hallelujah, one particular pastor, his wife used to call me a rivalry. She loved me so much but I did not know what the word rivalry meant back then. Hallelujah, and she loves me so much even though I was a rivalry. When I think about it now, I don't understand why she uses that word but she loves me and she always cherishes me and Everywhere they're going on a motorbike, it would be all three of us going, the pastor and me and the wife, and she never puts me in the back. She kept me right there so I wouldn't fall off. But if they need a testimony and they were tired, they would tell the church to call on me. Hey, they would say, hallelujah, Sister Janet. <clears throat> Or Sister Redeem Janet. Uh, or they would say Sister Lake. Uh, hallelujah. Back then my name was Junie. My home name, you know. When I hear somebody say Junie, I look around because I know that person know me from my hometown in Jamaica. Because that name does not be on our birth certificate. So, so hallelujah. She would say, let Sister Junie uh, uh, give the word for us today. I was only nine and ten years old when I was giving exaltation for the church. And I was, hallelujah, preaching, floor preaching, hallelujah, for our church. I was giving the word. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I was able to give the word because I was a hunger. There was a void inside. Hallelujah. That needed to be filled. And so I keep following. Keep following. Hallelujah. To get it filled. And so, hallelujah, Jeremiah says, Lord, I cannot go anywhere. Why? Because I cannot speak. He says, I am a child. I was only eight years old. I didn't know what to do, but the word of God said, Jeremiah, hallelujah, that the Lord God said to Jeremiah, Lord, but the Lord said unto me, say not that you are a child, <clears throat> for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I commanded thee shall speak. Be not afraid of the faces when you go on the street to preach, Bishop Redeem. Do not look to the left or the right, but pay attention. Keep your face steadfast on me, and I will give you the word to say. I heard Jeremiah said that. Hallelujah. In the Hebrew's language, Jeremiah's name is Yermia. Hallelujah. It means high. Have been established, hallelujah, or established by God. The book. <clears throat> Jeremiah represents uh, the acquaintances of the struggle of the African academic Israelites to turn away from false worship. Excuse me, hallelujah, my throat this morning, but the blood of Jesus, I come against every principalities and powers, hallelujah, against my throat this morning. The word must go forth, not might, it must today. But hallelujah, Jeremiah, he was hated by his own relative and people who destined, hallelujah, for slavery and degradation because they refused to be obedient to God. 
Jeremiah had a stern fate, hallelujah, to go. <laughs> yes, ma'am, yes, sir, I have to tell you that Jesus do not walk with the proud or the scornful. If you are proud or you are scornful today, you will not have the Lord God Almighty be with you. But Jesus, hallelujah, he loves the ones that are way down, that needs and truly and really needs help. When I was sinking deep in sin, the songwriter said, Far from the sea for sure. Hallelujah. But my Savior reached down way down within. And he brought me out. And today I cannot stop giving praise and thanks. Because he knew my name. When I didn't know him or what he was about, he knew me. Yet he saved me this morning for a purpose and a time such as now. He has brought us through the pandemic, and hallelujah, after COVID-19 had to take his place right back, he was roaring. COVID-19 was roaring, but I know my God is the winner. He's not only the healer, but he's the winner this morning. So no matter how COVID was roaring, and how COVID was making all the noise and yelling and telling us how bad he was and taking out some of the people, hallelujah, he could not have touched the Lord's anointed, and he could not have done the prophets no harm. He could roar all he want, but I can tell you this with an assurance uh, that he can roar. <laughs> Hallelujah. Over there he can roar over there. <laughs> he can roar behind. <laughs> and sometimes he even roar at the edging of the sea. <laughs> but when my God tells us <laughs> Hallelujah, stand forth <laughs> and stand in the liberty where I have made you free. <laughs> Hallelujah. And never <laughs> to waver to the side of to the right or to the left. Never, hallelujah, to left thee behind Satan. You know, in the army, they have a thing that says, no man leave behind. God, I want to tell you that. Sir. No man leave behind today. And so I could use that matter today. Hallelujah. The angels of the Lord cannot leave me behind. Because when I wave my hand and make a call, when I tell the Lord who I am, I reminded him. Because all that he had told me to do, I have done it. I have fasted. I have tried my best to walk right in his precept. I have standed on the word. Hallelujah. God knows how I've been persecuted for nothing sometimes. I've been called names. I've been talked about. Hallelujah. I've been walked on. But I'm telling you today, because he lives, I know today that I can face tomorrow. I don't want to wait on the enemy. When the Lord tell me to go, I will go. The adversary sometimes is on each side. Hallelujah, I can feel them. I could feel the breeze, but I can only bend backwards. I can only bend forward because if I try to bend to the side, hallelujah, they will caught me. I cannot fight the devil. I cannot do nothing by myself. But I heard the word of God said, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the word, than the world. I heard he said unto me, I let us go in the house of the Lord. Thy feet shall stand within thy gate, O Jerusalem. Yes, ma'am, yes, sir. Here I am, Jesus. Send me this morning. You have sent me to Omaha. Hallelujah for a reason and a purpose. Every time I try to leave, I want to leave because most people are so unkind here. Hallelujah, I have two different demons to fight, two different adversaries. I have to fight my color and I have to fight my country. Hallelujah, I have to fight. Hallelujah, but Jesus is in the midst. I can smile at the storm because the a lifeboat has rescued me. And one thing they had made a mistake and did was let me go through the gate. Hallelujah. I've been through the gate. And therefore you can close the gate all you want now. I have already come through there. It said to danger. 
toil and snare this afternoon, I want to tell you, I have already come. There's no thing that you can do to me. Hallelujah. I've got my coat of many colors already. My name is already written up there. There you cannot do me nothing. You can talk all you want. I won't lose no weight. You can talk all you want. I don't have to hop or skip or jump. You can talk all you want. It doesn't push me back forward. Hallelujah. If in any case... I slip and slide in. I can moonwalk like Michael Jackson. Yes, ma'am, yes, sir. And I could dance the Lombarda and dance my way right back into the house of God. But I'm here to tell you, I'm too far to my journey home to turn back now. There is nothing worthwhile for me to look because I heard there's a storm out on the ocean. It is moving this old way. If my soul, if your soul is not anchored in Jesus today, you will surely drift away. This afternoon I'm here to tell you just one story that if you seek the Lord, he is near. He is here. Call on him. Knock on the door. It shall will be open. In the name of Jesus. The calling of Jeremiah is the calling for you today. Are you looking at me and know that you are a Jeremiah? Hallelujah. Are you listening to me and know that you are a Jeremiah? Hallelujah. If you just walk in the door because you did a night shift. If you're just walking in the door, hallelujah, because you have just took your shower getting ready to go to work. Do not change that channel, channel 22. Hallelujah, bumped it up a little higher because I want to tell you about Jeremiah today. That Jeremiah, God said unto him, I know you from the womb. If you are pregnant today with the word of God, it's time to deliver. I know you from in the womb. It's time for you to say, hallelujah, Lord, here I am. Send me this afternoon. It's time to let go. You are holding on on things, just holding on. And even though Jesus is trying to pry your hands, get off here. Come on, my child, it's time for deliverance. Let go, you still holding on. But I'm telling you this afternoon, hallelujah, that the Lord is ready. Jesus Christ is ready to put forth his hands on your mouth with words this afternoon. Words of encouragement. Word to stand right. Word to sit right. Word to leave your bad company. Word to see things the way they are. Word to see men and women, boys and girls like tree. Words for you to be at the pool this moment. Words for you to step on in the pool. Get your deliverance. Words for you to run. Here, Lord, send me. Run and say, here comes a man have told me all of my words. Here he is. Come and see Hallelujah. This man give me the water that I will thirst no more. Here it is. He said he will pour his flesh in time, his spirit, and all flesh in this time and season. It's time for you to say, here, Lord, here I am. Send me this morning. I have no question for no one because I'm here to say, Lord, here I am. Send Send me this afternoon. See, I have this day. Set thee to the nation. He has sent me to Omaha. Whether you want to refuse or whatever you want to do, you want to call my name. Hallelujah. In the wrong situation. You want to call my name. Hallelujah. For the wrong things. But forget it. The Lord has sent me here for a reason and a purpose. And that purpose must be fulfilled. 
Whether you like it or not, whether you like it or forbear it, I'm not a group of people. I am a child of God. I have sent with a message, and my message today to you is just a piece of what I was sent here for. And my message today to you saying, here I am. Send me. I'm asking the Lord to continue to send me to you, to give you the word that he has given unto me, to tell you that the Lord Jesus, he saves, he keeps, he satisfies, he's a burden bearer. Hallelujah. He's someone that will make you walk with joy. He gives you the joy. The world cannot give it to you, and the world cannot take it. He will dwell you in the secret place of his most high. He will abide with you under the shadow because it is almighty. He will say of you, Lord, he will rescue you in time of trouble. Lord Jesus, he will be your shepherd. You shall not want and you shall not need. It will be on Jericho Road, only two of you. And that road cannot hold three people. It cannot hold four people. It can only accommodate two people. And that two people will be Jesus and you. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? I said, I see a rod of an almond tree. If you go down to 11 verse. See, I have this day set thee over the nations on the 10th verse and over the kingdoms to root out, to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. Hallelujah, I'm here to tell you. I'm here to help you to build. I am here to help you to plant. Whatsoever you need to be built and whatsoever you need to be planted today, give us a call at 402-210-2523. Hallelujah, it's a 24 hour prior line. I promise double dear and guarantee you if you give us a call and you are building, no matter what you are building, if you are building it in Jesus' name, I will be there to help you. I will be there to hold your hand and to walk with you. Hallelujah. I'm here to be your sister, brother's keeper. I'm here to dig with you. Hallelujah. To root out. Hallelujah. Everything that easily upsets me. I'm here to help you to root it out. I don't hear about it today. I know about it. I've been there. I've done that. Hallelujah. And I'm back to help you. So I'm here to tell you today. Whatever the consequences is, if you have the Lord on your side, you don't have to worry. When they run to Moses and told Moses, Pharaoh is coming and the Red Sea is here. What are we going to do now? I would have been back there. That was a, such a long walk to be here. And now they're going to take me back. Not only take me back, but whip me while I'm going. What are we going to do? But I I heard Moses say, stand still and see hey, the salvation of the Lord. Stand still and wait. I hear Moses say, here I am, Lord. I am empty today. Here I am, fill me up so I could share with your people. Here I am, Koroboshete. Hey, Jesus. Yes, Lord, here I am this afternoon. I'm here. Yeah, 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 Jesus. Undori under the mic and all. See, Kunturi under the mic and day. Yes, Lord, here I am. Send me. And I hear Moses hold up the rod and said, What shall I do, Jesus? Tell me what to do. I am only a man. Hallelujah. But I hear the Lord say, Hallelujah, stretch your rod. Pronounce the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Once you pronounce my name, every name. He has got to 
about. I hear Jesus says, every water will have to move. What are you talking about, sister preacher? I heard the white sea wide open. And there was a truck between man, woman, boy, and girl. Animals and beds. Hallelujah. Everything could run through. I'm running for my life. Anybody ask me what the matter with me? I don't have to tell you. You see that Pharaoh is behind me, but I'm running today. I'm running for my life. Run through the, word, the river. Hallelujah. Through the sea. Excuse me. And when they run, hallelujah, they have gotten, hallelujah, a word. While they were passing someplace, the Lord God wrapped them up in the daytime. They were a pillar of cloud. So all the adversaries and the enemy could see was a pillar of cloud. No doubt that they are thinking, oh, it's going to rain. But they don't know that there's movement behind the cloud cloud and it was nighttime so peradventure they are waiting that we can get them now what are they going to do but at the nighttime he wrapped them up in a pillow of fire what are you talking about fire to the enemies fire to the adversaries hallelujah hallelujah he put fire they thinking something is burning so let me run go call the fire truck. By the time they come back, the fire already moved. He brought them. Then he plant them like a rivers, by the rivers of water. They were able to bring forth fruits in and out of season because they have passed through all those great tribulation. I hear Paul said, no eyes, no depths, no principalities, no powers, nothing can can separate me from the love of God. Nothing can take me down. You made a mistake and left the gate wide open. Now that I've climbed to the top of Mount Carmel, where Moses saw the fire burning, you want me to come down to you? No, ma'am, no, sir. Lord, here I am. Send me. I am not coming down off the mountain. I'm staying up here. Lord, here I am. Show me the burning bush. Lord, here I am. Show me where to go. Lord, here I am. Tell me who and where and why and how. Here I am this good afternoon, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No grave cannot hold my body down. No grave Cannot hold my body down. For when the trump of God shall sound. And the dead in Christ shall rise. No grave cannot hold my body down. If you are just watching. This is Woman of Vertia. TV Omaha. At the bottom of the screen is my information. 402210. 2523. We are not independent of your donation. We are um, renovating. We need a couple more hallelujah sheet rocks and a couple more stuff. You can either buy it at Home Depot or Menards or Lowe's. You can send us a love offering or a donation. Give your tithing to your church, but we will accept your donation or your love offering for a building fund. Hallelujah. Same place, same time. Next week, this is Woman of Vertia, TV, no, TV Omaha. I am Bishop Redeem. God bless you and have a nice weekend. No grave cannot hold my body down. No grave cannot hold my body down. For when the trump of God shall sound, and the dead in Christ shall rise. No grave cannot hold my body down.